Okay guys, uh, this is just a little quick tutorial about uh, speeding up your workflow in FL Studio. Um, uh, this is my uh, dance template and what I do is I create a template for each type of music that I enjoy making. Um, as you can see I already have a kick, a closed hat, an open hat, a bass, something to play chords on. Uh, something for a lead and uh, I have like a little uh, drum filler loop here that that I can play as well and um, it, here's what the whole thing sounds like just uh, the start of it um, I usually erase all this and do an intro sequence with some weird sounds and stuff like that But as you can see, I have all of the basic elements of a dance song already laid out. And I also have my patterns already labeled. Um, I have a MIDI keyboard, so that makes things pretty easy for creating chord progressions and stuff like that. And I also have a 36 knob uh, Behringer MIDI controller. It's uh, pretty crappy, but it gets the job done. Uh, as you can see, I already have it mapped to uh, the bass drum there. If you look at channel one, the bass drum, um, it's moving because it's already mapped. I've pre-mapped a lot of my frequently used uh, knobs and sliders. Um, <coughs> and while I'm at that, I'll just go ahead and uh, show you how to set up your MIDI in FL Studio. Now, before you do this, uh, you may or you may not need to go to your MIDI controller's manufacturer website and download the drivers for whatever controller you're using. But to set up a controller in FL Studio, I'm sorry you can't see this, uh, the hotkey is F10 to get to MIDI settings in FL Studio. But you go to options, and then you go down to MIDI settings, and it brings up this window here. And I, now I have no clue why it's showing me that I have uh, all of these, because I only have two devices. But uh, I just uh, en enable them all, and uh, see, uh, you uh, click here, and then you go down here and you highlight this little enable button right here, and then that enables or disables the controller. And uh, of course, have auto accept detect the controller on, and uh, what else is there? I believe that's about it for setting up your MIDI controller. And then when you want to, uh, say you want to program a knob to a slider here, you would right, cl you would right click it, and then you go down to link to controller. And then you would turn the knob that you want to link to that controller. And as you can see, I just did my master volume, and when I did, it automatically cut me out. But uh, yeah. That's how you set up your MIDI in FL Studio. And I'm going to wrap this up here, guys. Uh, just, uh, you know, lay everything out the best you can. Have it labeled and organized. And it'll save you from having to repeat a lot of monotonous tasks over and over again. You can just jump right in and start making music. This is more of a tip than it is a tutorial. It's just something that I've recently started doing. And it's improved my creativity and my speed of creating music. Uh, by quite quite a lot and thanks for watching guys I'll catch you guys next time